Alright guys, as you know from prior posts on Instagram, we have an issue with the deck. Um, Donald yesterday twisted his knee, slipping and falling on the ramp there. And then this board here that I'm stepping on completely broke loose. And then we found more problems. So today we're going to spend a little bit of time getting this part taken down. So we'll have, a, we're going to um, actually make this lower to the ground. We have a piece of countertop. It's been here for a couple of years. We got it at a really, um, got it free. we got it free. We just had to bring it home. It weighs about 300 pounds. So we've maneuvered the truck as close as we can to the deck. We're going to clear off these boards next. And we're going to try and put that countertop on the back end of the truck here so we can safely keep it until we're ready to make a, um, a stand for it because Donald wants to have a nice tabletop for his outdoor grill area. And this is going to be the new out grill door area. Um, like I said, we're going to lower it to the ground. We're taking all of this out today. We're leaving this small deck here. So that way we still have entrance to the house. We just got to be extra careful. But yeah, this has uh, become the number one priority uh, now that we found a lot of issues, a lot of rot. And we also found out that the deck was not mounted to the house. So that's why that board broke and now everything's leaning this way. So fun times for homeowners. So here we go. All right, guys. Well, we got it on the back end of the truck. So from here, we're going to uh, go ahead and finish taking apart this. And then we're going to show you everything we possibly can as to what we're doing and how we're doing it. Well, as you can tell, we found a patch job. Now, just so everybody knows, the brand new wood that's underneath, that's something we did earlier last year because we noticed it was kind of sagging. So at the time, we thought it would be just a good idea to buy a couple of pieces of wood, put some bricks, and just brace it. We knew the deck was not that great, but we didn't realize just how bad it was. Uh, this one's rotted, that one's rotted. We're going to save as much as we can to use on other projects, but um, yeah, it just gets better and better. That one board just completely yep. moved. What in the world? Literally, patch job. That board is complete, not even nailed right. Look, at, it's like they put the nails in, but didn't drive it all the way through. They couldn't. They didn't know how to drive a nail. Look at them all. Holy crap. We've been walking on this. We've been walking and sitting and cooking on this? Oh, that's a good thing we haven't fallen through. Holy cow. All right, well, let's get this rest of this up then. And then that's going to be a fun part. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, it's not even connected. They just put, they put the board up, but never connected it to anything. It's, it's not even, I mean, I can see something down here, but we would have to rip up the door one. <sighs> wow. Wow, I, I got, I'm, um, mm, 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 mm. dumbfounded, astonished, we've had kids on here, be careful, those boards are rotted over there, honey, stay, oh, I know you know what you're doing, but the boards don't know what you're doing, <laughs> oh, and, 
just so you know, everybody, you did not build this. they use drywall screws, not deck screws, drywall. So they have all rusted. So we are having a hard time getting some of the boards up. And like we said, we did not build this. This came with the house. So the fun will continue. Donald did a wardrobe change. Get too oh, hot. Get hot. <laughs> get hot. This is way past due to come out. Yeah. Well, you got to figure, what they tell us? They had lived here for 10 years. So, and we've been here about five, so it's 15, but still. I don't think that was as even pressure treated lumber. No, none of this is pressure treated. I'll be honest with you. None of it is pressure treated by the looks of it. And the fact that they used uh, drywall screws instead of deck screws. Boy, it's really rotted over there, ain't it? Yeah. Be careful. Don't back up. I know. <laughs> also, too, another thing we found. Ooh, stuck on the board. Right here, they did a patch board. <laughs> this whole thing is patched. <laughs> yeah. There's that. And then I like this. How what? They just got it resting on top of the stub. Or the stud, or whatever you want to call it. <sighs> and here we thought the heat was going to kill us. Looks like the deck was about to kill us. <laughs> All right, guys, this entire section's been removed. We've cut through the front facing board here so we can start taking apart everything. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna keep trucking along. So, we just found finishing nails. <laughs> Wait, we'll show you here too. The face board was put on with finishing nails. Mo yeah, some of it with finishing nails and others with nails. And when we detached the well, front they tried board. To come, they tried to come in afterwards. They put it on with finishing nails first. And then they tried to come in afterwards and put these nails on an angle. But not very many of them hit because they were up underneath of them trying to nail and apparently whoever built this doesn't know how to drive a nail yeah this thing's just riddled with them oh fun fun this fun fell over yeah because that's the board that wasn't attached remember that's the one where down there the finishing nails are like in the board but they didn't go through the board yeah, right this, there this. It is hot. This blows my mind. See right there. You can see the finish there, the the nails that were driven. Holy never crap. went through. What? This here was only put in with finishing nails up there too. They Are you to serious? Yeah. yeah, only finishing nails held this arm. Oh, They use big nails to drive it together, but finishing nails to put it in. What the crap were they thinking? Did they run out of nails? I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, I'll show you guys. That board that Donald just brought out. All that's finishing nails. Yay. 
All right, guys. So we got it all cleared. Uh, we left the post here for the dragon fruit because that's what it's climbing on and we don't have a way to relocate it right away. And let me take you inside. So, as you can tell, all cleaned out, at least half of it. This board is actually mounted to the house, but we found out that uh, because they used finishing nails and not the right screws and not the right nails, it all separated from the board that was actually mounted to the house. Huh. So, needless to say, uh, we are going to be taking a little break. It's really hot, but we're going to turn this area into a ground level um, patio. patio. So Donald will have the grill and everything down here. We're thinking of putting either steps here or steps there once we get this all fixed too. And then a nice platform ramp that's not so steep. All right. I just noticed this. So the posts were pressure treated, but uh, banana leaves in my way. But here they mounted. This is a brace. This is a post. This is another post. And then they had the main beam sitting on that. Yeah. So that's even a patchwork. Oh my goodness. me walk around <laughs> gotta love it all right here's the top view we're gonna go in and take a break from the heat all right guys so this was the ramp as you saw earlier so donald tell us what happened what you find on the ramp well first of all no hangers here they just toe nailed some looks like eight penny nails maybe holding this up with no hangers up underneath here and it looks like half of them didn't hold in very well down there at the end they literally just got the board sitting in the dirt not they're not sitting on anything um there's no end cap on it they just had had them sitting down there and, and uh the plywood nailed on top and I just cut the plywood down each side here because I got to be careful with these things I got to do that slowly but uh, I just grabbed the plywood and ripped it right off just only a few nails in the whole thing and there's no brace either in between like at the halfway point there's no brace going across no it was just bouncing it, <laughs> this ramp when we first got here bounced so bad that I stuck I put that two by four there and I put this that four by four right there just to keep it from bouncing so bad now i see why there's no support no support at all and remember when you had your knee surgery we were wheeling you up and down this ramp in a wheelchair i don't know how the hell y'all did it <laughs> and it's on such a steep and incline too yeah we'll be fixing that yay more stuff <clears throat> All right, we put up uh, brace boards to prevent anybody from falling over until we're ready to tear up the rest.